Hi everyone, my name is Praveen Bhatt. I'm an application integration architect at BigID. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick uh, demo of BigID's integration with Fortanix. So here you can see I'm logged into the BigID environment. I'm not going to cover BigID uh, at all. Let's quickly go to the catalog. So uh, as you know, BigID has a concept of catalog where it uh, shows all the findings that it has done. So here we could see Big ID has scanned many different data sources and in this rela uh, relational database, it has a bunch of findings here. Uh, it has identified full name, it has identified email, uh, date of birth, uh, uh, medical records, user identifiers, all kind of information. Now, uh, you might want to apply some kind of data protection on based on these findings that you have in Big ID. So uh, Fortanix uh, uh, is a data protection platform. It, it can apply different kind of security rules on your data assets, uh, database schema tables, columns. So in this MVP integration, uh, this integration is uh, uh, in the MVP phase right now. So what we have done here is just uh, you know, try to uh, apply the uh, data protection on Postgres database. It could be applied to uh, any kind of relational database uh, with minimal changes. But right now for the MVP, we have just tested this on Postgres. So on Fortanix side, uh, you have to install a plugin. Uh, there's a plugin called DB Gateway plugin uh, that, that's uh, needed to be installed for this integration to work. So quickly talking about the prerequisite of this integration. One, you need a big ID environment. Uh, number two is you need a Fortanix environment. Number three is you need this DB plugin, uh, DB gateway plugin installed uh, on the Fortanix and in your Fortanix environment. Number four is you need this uh, Big ID Fortanix app uh, installed either on the Big ID app application uh, framework. So if I go to application management, you can install any uh, kind of app here by pointing it to uh, 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 the URL of where the app is hosted. Uh, the app by itself is an independent Docker uh, component, or it could be deployed via uh, uh, Kubernetes, but it's it's running separately from this Big ID instance. And then you could install it just like you install app in uh, Google uh, uh, Play Store or uh, uh, App Store in, on Apple. So in similar fashion, you could install an app uh, on this platform. So I have already done that. Uh, Big, uh, Big ID Fortanix app is installed. So that's the fourth component you uh, you need uh, to have uh, uh, this app installed. Uh, so that's pretty much from the prerequisite part. Now, how to configure the app? So you go to Big ID. Uh, since this app is installed on the Big ID platform, it's already connected and has access to the Big ID APIs. Uh, you need to connect it to Fortanix though. So uh, on Fortanix, as I mentioned, you know you need this plugin. Uh, so once you install a plugin, a plugin has a URL or it exposes itself to be called uh, via an API endpoint uh, if you want to make an API call. So you can uh, copy the URL of that plugin and then you inject that URL uh, uh, inside uh, while configuring this app. So you, I've already done that, I've uh, put that and then you have to also provide an API key. This is an authentication key, auth key, uh, to call that API endpoint. For this uh, MVP implementation, we are just using a perpetual API key. So this key doesn't expire. So we have plans to change that to a credential-based authentication, but right now you can just use this uh, uh, perpetual auth key. So that's pretty much uh, as far as uh, configuring the app uh, uh, such that Big ID and Fortanix can uh, can talk. Now, apart from that, uh, once you have configured that, there is one action that you can uh, perform using this act. That is uh, protect, uh, the, the action name is protect using Fortanix. So uh, a little bit of uh, context around this. So as we were talking, Big ID uh, has uh, all its finding exposed via its, its catalog. And we, as we just saw, you know, there are a bunch of findings here. Now I might want to say uh, there is medical records here uh, in this uh, table here and I want to hide that or tokenize some information uh, in this uh, medical uh, database so I can then trigger that kind of action from Fortanix because Fortanix performs tokenization so we could trigger that using this app. 
Now, what we have done for this integration, <coughs> for this MVP integration, right now we have tested it to work only for Postgres, but essentially it could work for any kind of relational database. We have just not tested it uh, as of now. <coughs> so here, if I go to uh, Fortanix, I can see that uh, there is this database, uh, which is a Postgres database on the Fortanix side or Fortanix uh, is connected to this database and it can perform data protection on this. So here we have just uh, have one database, of course, in, in real life situation, you might have hundreds or maybe thousands of data assets. Similarly, on big ID side, here you can see uh, many different databases. But right now, if I want to trigger any protection action on Fortanix, it needs to be the same database that's there uh, on Fortanix, meaning it can perform these operation on common uh, data set. So I'll just look up that data that <coughs> we saw on Fortanix side. So this is the Postgres database that we are seeing on Fortanix as well. That's the host name. Uh, this is the database schema table. So here uh, I have the same thing connected on Big ID side. Uh, we perform the Big ID scan uh, here. And after the scan, Big ID has identified that there is a credit card number in this table. So if I go to this table and if I say preview, so I can see there is a column called CC and it has a credit card number. And uh, as you can see, the credit card number is uh, <coughs> ending with three, 3235 as of now, right? Let me actually uh, clear the cache and requery it to make sure uh, that is what it is. So yeah, so 3235, that's the credit card number. It belongs to some Frank. Now, uh, if I go back to my app, uh, what I have said is uh, the first, uh, now these are the different parameters, right? And uh, that the, this app takes, and it has just one action as of now, which is protect using Fortanix. So in Big ID, you could trigger this action, meaning you want to trigger protection using Fortanix. And when you trigger that action, you have to provide a catalog filter. Uh, and you also can, this is an optional uh, parameter, you can provide an attribute filter as well. So what does, what do they mean? So this catalog filter, I'll just copy this essentially is uh, this thing you see here, right? So we have all kinds of uh, findings in Big ID, but we want to apply it only to a subset, meaning we want to protect, uh, apply the protection uh, on Fortanix only to a subset. So that's my uh, query here, but this query could be anything. It could be as complex or as simple as you want it to be. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is it will apply protection only on common data assets. So if this one returns, let's say a thousand records, but uh, the data assets are present on Fortanix only for, let's say out of that thousand, only for hundred of them. So the protection can only run on those hundred because that's the common or intersection between Big ID and Fortanix. Uh, and then the second part, uh, no, the first was catalog filter, which is this one. Uh, essentially that app will make an API call behind the scene and it will get this result set. And then in that result set, there is a second filter called attribute filter. And the attribute filter we have mentioned as this one. So what it does is, although this table has a bunch of columns, it's not going to go and protect everything. It's only going to go and protect any column that is mapped to this attribute. So basically what this attribute is saying is this column called CC actually has credit card information. So, and I want to tokenize this particular column. So that's what this one says, go find data that is uh, applies to this query. Within that query, whatever tables you find, look for attribute, uh, this attribute. And then for that attribute, whichever columns, it could be one or more columns that are mapped to this attribute, apply protection on that. Now I have mentioned one attribute here, but you could uh, mention as many attributes uh, separated by comma. Uh, you could also make this query as simple uh, or as complex as you would like to. Uh, we'll come back to this option later. So what I'll do is I'll trigger this action. Since it's just one object, uh, it should run pretty fast. It's already done here. And it says protected one uh, big ID catalog columns using Fortanix. Now to verify that, if I go back to uh, this query, and if you remember last time when we previewed this data, 
Uh, it's still showing that it's ending with 3235 because it's cached. So I'll clear the cache and I'll requery it. So now we see the number has changed because uh, Photonix has tokenized this data. So under the hood, it's the still uh, still the same data, but it has been tokenized and that's how it's visible to user. So uh, long story short, that is what we can achieve. Uh, this is a very simple use case, but you could make it as complex as you want. Uh, currently it applies only to relational databases and we have tested it to work only for Postgres right now, but it should, uh, uh, with maybe minimal changes, apply to any kind of relational databases. Uh, finally, uh, the last thing that I would cover is uh, this app also lets you export the output in a JSON format. Basically, it's the export of the result set after applying these two filters, and it's in a universal model. So if I go here, sorry if i go to the app and i go to the activity log then you'll see uh, because there is an export as json uh, here we, we have 16 records you know in this case we just have one so i'll just look at the one that has 16. so if i download that and open that downloaded file Okay, so this is what it has. It has a JSON output. And let me go to JSON validator. So this is what it has done. Uh, it it outputs so there were 16 objects as you see so here there are it it's an out export of 16 objects and it is providing you all the details that uh, the the query found in a universal format meaning it's telling what the host name is uh, or ip address of the host what the database name is what the type of the database is what the schema table column uh, the attributes here, the column and attribute name are same, but most likely it won't be. So your column could have been email address and your attribute could be email, or as like we saw, your column could be CC, your attribute will be credit card. And then categories is all the different kind of categories. It, uh, it's classified in Big ID. So basically all the findings of Big ID will be exported here, and then you could do whatever you want. That's just an additional feature of this app. Uh, it doesn't has anything directly to do with Photonix. It's just an export available. But as far as Photonix is uh, available, yeah, you, you don't have to go in here. Uh, you could trigger all these actions directly from Big ID at scale, meaning Big ID does all the findings for you at scale across your data sources. And then you can apply your rules at a higher level instead of going manually uh, in Photonix and saying that I want to do this, this, and this. Here you could, let's say you want to uh, tokenize all the credit cards and you don't know where it is you could use big id to find credit cards across all your different data sources and you could trigger that app or uh, schedule it to run let's say weekly basis or something like that where it will go and tokenize all credit card information for you uh, so in in summary that's what the app does uh, thank you for your time that's about it thank you